Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of Office 365. And in this session, I am going to define you about the types of groups which is available on Office 365 panel. Right? So, if we talk about our previous session, so in last session we discussed about uh, how we can manage the shared mailbox. We have already discussed about the concept and uh, also we completed the lab for the shared, mail, mail, shared mailbox. Now we need to move ourselves to the next step. Uh, to be expert as an Office 365, you should know about these types of content, right? So I'm just going to move ourselves to Office 365 panel portal and give you the complete information. But before that, we should know about why it is important, why we need to establish, why organization establish uh, uh, different types of um, uh, 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 groups which is available in uh, over, over Office 365 panel. So uh, I think four or five different types of groups are available. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the number of groups which is available and uh, uh, we'll discuss about each and everything means uh, uh, we'll discuss about the concept of every groups which is available on Office 365 panel. Fine. So our agenda to understand about O365 groups, right? So if we compare our groups related to our on-premises domain, so you know that whenever we establish our domain controller on on-premises using any server operating system, you know that n number of built-in groups are available in Active Directory servers. As it is over our Office 365 panel, we will find a multiple groups. So I'm just going to open our uh, Office 365 portal, guys. This is our Office 365 portal. And what you need to do, we just need to explore it, open your administrator center. And under the admin center, we are able to find terminals, uh, teams and groups, right? So just need to click here. And we are able to find uh, multiple options are available, active teams and groups, deleted groups, and about the shared mailbox. So I think we completed the part of shared mailbox. So now I'm just going to move ourselves to the active teams and groups so in this case although i think uh, one group already available which is a built-in group and uh, whenever we click on the add group it gives us option the number of groups to which is available so yes four different types of group are available office 365 distribution mail uh, enabled security and another option is related to the security so in this class i'm going to give you the complete information about the dl distributed list we'll discuss about why it is important because every organization if we talk about any organization they must need to establish our at least uh, one or two distinct different distribution list to manage the mailing services to broadcast the message to multiple uh, client or multiple engineers at a time so let's talk about the distribution list let's talk about the group of distribution list right so as we discussed four different types of groups are available but our agenda to understand about the concept of dl distribution list so over a Office 365 portal, it uh, play a unique role because with the help of this particular uh, service or with the help of this particular group, we are able to uh, manage the lots of uh, activity related to the mailing services. So let's talk about the usage of distribution list. So guys, it is used for the broadcasting. For example, um, you created a one distributed list like as with name of uh, HR, right? This is the name of your distribution list. And you establish your uh, um, um, uh, domain like as uh, maybe hr at uh, teachmecloud.in, right? Teachmecloud.in. Teachmecloud.in means uh, this one is our organization name, you can say that. And hr, you created a, you selected a hr for the um, distribution list. You can say that hr is the name of our distribution list. And uh, teachmecloud.in is our domain controller, our organization name, right? So uh, this is your mail ID as well, right? HR at the teachmecloud.in. This is the mail ID for your distribution list. And now under the HR, we are able to add multiple members. Member in the sense I'm talking about the employees or employees mail ID. For example, I'm just going to add uh, multiple users like as a uh, ABC at, right, ABC at, uh, uh, teach me cloud dot in right another employee which is work uh, working with the uh, organization as a HR so another employee is XYZ at teach me cloud dot in right and uh, 
one more user one more employee we have a uh, with name of test at teachmecloud.com fine so how we can manage it so these all are the users you can say that these all are the employees which is working as a hr right so you want to share the entire mailboxes with these employee at a time you want to share the uh, copy of your in um, incoming mail to entire users which is available like as the same copy which is received by abc xyg and test clear for example this is our mail id and this is outside outsider user because we will discuss about we have a two different way to use our uh, uh, distribution list for example this is another people who just drop a mail to your hr at the rate something so basically we have a two different way outsider user and insider user insider user in the sense like as a, um, the employee name is maybe uh, gcp and another employee name is maybe cloud right so these two different user can perform the task with uh, your organization means which is associated with uh, uh, teachmecloud.in means both user are our organizations employee may be working with another department but they all are working with the same organization now think about it another user we have another user as well like as uh, this is our another user the uh, email id of another user is maybe azure at the rate gmail.com right it may be gmail.com or yahoomail.com which is not our employee you can say that means outside the user in the sense who are still using with the uh, is uh, still using public mail id like at the yahoo mail gmail and uh, hotmail so while creating our uh, 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 distribution list, list it give us option do you want to receive the mail from the outside of, of organization or you want to create this particular distribution list to uh, access the mails from existing employee employee of our organization only so we will discuss more about it so what happened for example uh cloud at teachmecloud.in teach user can send a mail to hr at the rate uh, teachmecloud.in like as a, any anything like a um, 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 uh, cloud you send a mail this is the resume of my friend could you please check the resume and uh, take the action as per the experience of uh, this uh, resume so what happens the same copy of your mail will be transferred to the entire employee which is a member of our uh, hr distribution list means at a time these three different employee because these all are the uh, members of our uh, uh, hr distribution list so immediately they receive the mail of uh, uh, mail uh, of, from uh, cloud at teachmecloud.in right so this is the actual use of the distribution list i hope you will to understand about about it I'm, I'm i'm just going to show you the step how we can configure the uh, distribution list practically and show you the practical right so for this particular task what you need to do yes we just need to open our uh, uh, admin center of office 365 and in the administrative center we are able to find just need to click so all and teams and group just need to click here and it give us option to create your distribution list click on active teams and groups and it will redirect you on the page and we are able to find multiple options like at the distribution list you can also click on the group it will redirect you on the same page so i'm just going to click here it gives us option to add a group right so just need to click add a group select distribution click next type the name of your uh, distribution list like i'm just going to post it with name of hr right if you want to um, describe something like a, any description you want to provide just need to type here next uh mail id so right now i don't have any custom domain name so that's why i'm just going to proceed with on microsoft.com and this is the option communication allow people outside of my organization to send mail to this distribution list remember we have already discussed if any gmail account user if any yahoo mail based account user uh, uh, users want to send a mail to your hr at the rate teachmecloud.in so if you activate it if you mark it definitely you are able to access the email if you just uncheck means you want to create your hr uh, 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 distribution list only for the organization right within the organization the people which is working with your organization able to send the mail to hr at the rate itvd something if you check mark 
any other gmail account or yahoo mail account able to send your mail directly with using by using this particular distribution list tool it's fully depend upon you it's fully depend upon you so i'm just going to proceed with uh, um, uh, both means outsider and uh, our organization people as well next and uh, we just need to proceed and click create group now first step create a group distribution list and after that we will add the members member in the sense the uh, mail id that you have already created so once our distribution list is ready to use we will add our employee uh, we will add our uh, users which is available in our office 365 right so it is in progress we just need to wait for a few seconds once our group is ready we will proceed for the next step and give you the practical means how how you can receive the mail um, um, uh, through the same mail id clear so we successfully created a one group with name of uh, hr right so we successfully created a one uh, distribution list with name of hr fine we are able to find hr at the rate something uh, on microsoft.com i'm just going to open it second responsibility it's our responsibility we must need to add the uh, what we can say that number of members how many members you want to add click on members and uh, currently we don't have any members so i'm just going to add a member we all managed members click add members and you need to find the users that you have already created aws class gcp these all are the users which is available in our uh, uh, what we can say that in our uh, office 365 panel so i'm just going to add uh, aws class and gcp these three different user i want to add in hr department right and make sure these users should be contain at least uh, license because without license you know that uh, you are unable to perform the task so now we successfully added three different users in our hr distribution list let me verify just need to use uh, open users property and one owner and three different members are available if you want to verify just need to click members and it guide you how many members you have already added so gcp at the rate something class at the rate something and aws at the rate something uh, we have already added so what i'm going to do i'm just going to open an incognito wizard copy the username and try to log in another outlook in uh, incognito mode because I want to show you the proper practical how it can perform the task. So let me open uh, with uh, our members ID. Members ID in the sense those mail ID you selected and make the member of our HR department. Okay, so we successfully log in through GCP at the rate on Microsoft.com and uh, meanwhile i'm going to log in with one more user as well uh, for the verification so i'm just going to open with aws at the rate itbd something log in through the another uh, browser office.com AWS at the rate on Microsoft.com. So I'm just going to log in through two different members. Those members are available in our HR department. Okay, so we successfully logged it. I'm just going to open uh, what we can say that Outlook of uh, our AD, uh, sorry, uh, GCP user, which is a member of our uh, HR department. I'm just going to open the Outlook and as well as open the Outlook of our class users as well, not class, AWS users, only for the testing purpose. So this is our AWS at the rate uh, on Microsoft.com uh, and 
this one is our gcp at the rate on microsoft.com right we successfully open uh, in different wizard and both users should be contain at least licenses right so remember uh, while creating our distribution list we make it outside we allow to uh, uh, access a mail from outside the users so what i'm going to do i'm just going to drop a mail through uh, uh, through my gmail account or through my uh, yahoo mail account okay and let's see what happens so you need to open your HR ID, just need to copy the HR ID. HR ID, something like, I'm just going to open Yahoo Mail. Okay, this is my Yahoo Mail ID. I'm just going to click on compose and send up one mail. Paste the mail ID hr at the rate uh, 450 at the rate on microsoft.com test mail dl that's it just click send okay the message sent successfully back to your gcp user right let me refresh yes we are able to access a mail id right we are able to get a mail uh, that you shared from your yahoo mail account right this is test mail for dl meanwhile let me verify with the another account that we created which is also a member of same HR department. So our AWS users should be contain a same copy of our uh, mail. This is test mail for DL. Let me verify with another account. This one is our another uh, Office 365 account, which is uh, AWS at the rate uh, something dot and Microsoft.com. bit slow fine we are able to get the same mail means because you have already uh, allowed to send a mail from the outside the network outside the organization so I hope you all of you understand about the concept of distribution list right practically so, although if you have any question or doubt, please drop a comment. Definitely will reach your comment and reply your comment with solution. So, in next session, we'll discuss about the another types of groups which is available on Office 365. So, for now, take care. Thank you. Bye bye. And please do subscribe your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical. So, thank you guys. Take care. We'll connect soon. Bye bye.